welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. For the sake of the uh, topic of today, we're going to talk about stillness. What is stillness? What does it mean to be still? And you may have heard that many times from different people or from me of be still, stay still. What does it mean? What does stillness mean? Being still, you're still, you're, okay? You can physically be still, stay still, all right? Okay, you're taking a photo from your friend and you say, stay still, don't move. And the person is doing this and you're taking photos and you're mess the photos coming up messed up because the person is moving. So you tell them, hey, stay still. So that's in the physical world. Or you drive around and you see buildings are still. The buildings are not shaking. Trees are moving, but buildings are still. So, but what is inner stillness? What does that mean? Inner stillness, to stay still inside. What does it mean to be still inside? Anybody, anybody wants to share? Inner stillness. Inner stillness and inner silence are extremely important on the spiritual seeker's path for liberation. Most of our lives, we're not still. When we're not still means that we get identified with what is moving. What is moving affects you and you get very identified with it. What is moving? What's moving is the news. You hear about the news, the world is moving. It's always moving. Things changing, you get new news, new events, new dramas, things happen, especially the media, they love to focus on negative stuff and drama because negative stuff and drama, first of all, it sells much better than anything else and keeps your attention on itself. So your attention goes on the drama of life. And what happens is that you become like a yo-yo. Your emotions go up and down because your attention goes on what is moving, what comes and goes, like the news, like the dramas of life, like people come into your life and they leave. You fall in love with someone and then they leave you. So it's something that comes and goes, it's moving. Or your thoughts, your thoughts come and go, they're moving. And you get identified with your thoughts. So you come out of stillness. And what about emotions? Emotions, emotion, they're moving. Your emotions come and go and you get involved with them. You get identified with them. So they take you up and down. Have you ever imagined if you didn't have any ups and downs in your life? And what does it mean if you don't have ups and downs? Like you don't really get very much angry or you get you don't get super excited and you don't get super sad. Have you ever imagined that? Imagine that for one moment. 
that you're not really, you're in a place, you have developed a capacity that you're not really being affected but by what thing, what comes and what goes. So you're kind of still, you're here and everything comes and everything goes, but you're here, you're not going anywhere. You're still. There must be something still. Something must in this life be very still and not moving in order to observe, witness, and report what is moving. There has to be a measurement point inside you that can measure your ups and downs, your emotional ups and downs. Okay, you're depressed, you're, you feel really great, then you're depressed, then you feel great, you, you're depressed. There has to be something inside you that is always as the zero point. It's the zero point. It's not affected. There's no ups and downs to it. So your ups are getting compared to this place and your downs are getting compared to this place. So that's how you know you are happy or you're depressed. There has to be. Otherwise, how would you know you're happy? How would you know you're sad? How do you figure that out? And based on what? What are you comparing it to? It must be compared to something. Unconsciously, you're not aware of it. But you've been doing it all of your life. All of your life, you are reporting through your mind. You wake up in the morning and your mind gives you a report. Every day when you get up in the morning. And throughout the day, your mind gives you a report. Oh, I really so bored. Oh, I'm really afraid. Oh, I'm really depressed. Oh, really? Seriously? You're depressed? How are you depressed? What is depression? How can you be depressed? Depressed against what? Depression against what? Or happiness against what? Well, because I I'm depressed because I know when I'm happy. Okay, so now you're comparing depression against happiness. Or you're comparing happiness against depression. Is that what you think you're doing? Really? Is that how you know if you're depressed or you're happy? Because you're comparing happiness against depression. That's how you know which one you're at? That's what you think you're doing. But that's not what you're doing. What you're doing unconsciously, you're not even aware of it. No one has ever told you. Your daddy, your mommy, your teacher, no one told you this. You have no way of knowing it. All of your life, you're going to go through this thing until you die. And everybody else surrounding you does exactly the same thing. So there's no way of figuring it out until grace, grace comes in your life. Grace comes and fishes you out. You're in this ocean, you've swam too far away and you're about to be drowned into what? In your ups and downs in your emotions, in your up and down, up and down, up and down, in the craziness of the mind, then heaven opens, her majesty, Lord God, feels sorry for us or whatever, 